Leaders, welcome. It's the best two minutes of your day. I know you guys have been, uh, you've missed me on this camera. I know this little screen time, we used to do this a lot, but you know, the past couple of weeks I haven't, I don't know why, but hey, I'm back. And so I have a couple of things for you to come alongside you. You know, it, this is very interesting, isn't it? Where we are in the state of our world and where we are in the state of our church and how we uh, are ministering to one another. And so I have three things that I really wanna come alongside you and just really encourage you to do. Okay, one, obviously is to be prayerful. I mean, this is something that we really need to be on our knees about. We need to be crying out uh, for our country. We need to be crying out for our leaders. Uh, we need to be crying out for our students in our life groups and in our ministry. How are you praying for them? Are you very being intentional? Are you setting aside time each and every day to walk through your roster and walk through those students and those needs and being prayerful for them? Just know that for us, we are being prayerful for you. Uh, we're calling you this week. We're going to make those intentional connections with you. And we really want to uh, encourage our whole church and our whole body to be ever so mindful of that and be prayerful for that. Second thing is be attentive to the needs of your students. Some of your students are okay with what's going on in the world, but some are not. And so I want to encourage you, if you have not already, to reach out to them and to be really attentive to their needs. Ask the question, how are you doing? And, be, uh, and come alongside them authentically. And just you know, make that genuine connection and be attentive to their needs. And if there are any needs that our students having, maybe you will try to meet those needs or even connect with us and our staff and how we can best come alongside them uh, and to serve them and to love them well during these days. The third thing I would encourage you to do is stay connected. You know, stay connected. It's really hard, you know, right now physically for us to be uh, connected, but digitally we can. I love it because there's so many different platforms that we can use. Everything from Skype to Zoom to group FaceTime. There's so many different ways that you can stay connected to your students. And I want to encourage you to do that. Find a moment throughout the course of the week to maybe create a forum or to create a moment for you to stay connected with them. But also it would be really important to stay connected to Bellevue.org. It'd be awesome to stay connected to our high school Instagram page. We're going to be doing a lot of things in the coming weeks that we're really just kind of our extension to our students and to try to come alongside and to minister to them well. And so would you be mindful of our team as we move forward? Would you be mindful of our staff and our leadership here at the church as they make decisions almost daily about some of the things that are ahead of us? And so uh, we really value you. We love you. And we're here for you. So if there's something that we could do for you, just reply to this email or even just, you know, uh, text us. And we would love to minister as best we possibly can to shepherd well. All right. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Love, peace, chicken grease. Bye, guys.